Every year, my students often ask me the differences between courses around the world. So, for example, the difference between AP chemistry, IB chemistry and A-level chemistry. And although they're all broadly at the same kind of level, so 16 to 18 years old of study, there are some differences between them. AP chemistry, for example, doesn't include any organic chemistry and it's a one year course. But don't let that fool you. It has got some pretty chunky physical chemistry components in there. IB chemistry can be split into two. You have SL, standard level and advanced higher level. The advanced higher level is obviously more intense and contains considerably more more information and chemistry content. And A-levels are also a two-year course that kind of follows the advanced HL course for IB. So AHL and A-levels are broadly speaking similar. There are still some fundamental differences, but they overlap quite nicely. SL is kind of like an AS level, so like a year one A-level study. IB chemists also carry out an IA, an internal assessment, which is basically like a big coursework project and experiment, which is really good. And to be honest, the removal of coursework from A-levels is a shame because you miss out on the exploratory process of investigation. But in terms in terms of difficulty, to be honest, they're kind of all the same because you're trying to work as hard as you can and because chemistry is a challenging subject to get those top grades, which is a 5 in AP, a 7 in IB and an A star in A level, you're going to have to work your socks off and it isn't an easy thing to do. So in terms of which is easiest, that's kind of an irrelevant question because they're all equally challenging.